Oh, hey there, people. It's Sunday afternoon, 2.45 in the afternoon. I've been up since noon. Dog was growling and barking at something outside, and it kind of woke me up, pissed me off. So I figured I'd let him outside to go for potty and all that, and just been chilling out. Started uploading a bunch more games to uh, freaking Skaven Games there. I uh, got some Borderlands 2 going up, some Kerbal Space Program, some Mafia 2s, you know, all sorts of different games. I'm um, going to be heading over to Jewel soon because uh, she wants me to hang out with her today and I figured frigate, my last day of my vacation, let's go over there and hang out. So without further ado people, welcome to my vlog. There's something I wanted to talk about. I was on Facebook because I like trolling Facebook to see what the frig's going on. And that's when I came across this post from CNET, which I can't find right now. But basically, in China, they have, you know what AR drones are? Those uh, quadrocopters you can fly with your iPhone, or your Android phone, or your tablet, or whatever. Well, they now have a delivery service powered by these damn things. You're probably thinking, oh, that's that's friggin' awesome. That's, that's pretty cool. Well really not really because that's another job that was taken away from humans and given to robots and I don't like that see where my dad works uh, they he's, he's a CNC operator or programmer or whatever you want to call it and um, so far they have robots in their office like in their on their shop floor that run the CNC's as well so before back in the day you know if you wanted three CNC's running you need three operators now they have one operator running three CNC's. That's two jobs that were lost to robotics. And people are wondering why the economy's taking a shit. With companies building cars that are able to drive themselves, like Google, they have a couple Google cars. Right now they're uh, limited to California. And they can operate themselves. They know where the roads are. They know the speed limits. And they have GPS navigation, full head of sensors. They do still have the steering wheel and stuff for manual control. However, you can just get into the car, hit up Google Now and say, drive me to 555 Fifth Street, and the car will say, okay, and then boom, it pulls out safely and it does the speed limit and it gets you there, and you don't even have to touch a control. I don't like that. I don't like full automation, because if that's the case, they can build cabs like that, you know? Basically, buddy gets into the back seat and says, uh, yeah, take me over to 555 Fifth Street, and the car's like, okay, and it brings you there, and it locks the car down, and then it'll ask you, like, please insert your payment method, debit, credit, cash, whatever. You insert it, it checks it, gives you back your change if it's cash, and then it unlocks the doors and lets you out. Well, there's a lot of cab drivers that would lose their jobs. How the hell are those guys going to afford to buy food and stuff to feed their families, right? Probotic age and have employment and everything is if we got rid of currency, which I've mentioned before. And that'll never happen because, let's face it, everybody wants money, and money makes the world go round, right? So, having all these automated systems, even if you go to the grocery store, they have automated tellers. So, or not automated tellers, but like the self-serve checkouts. So, uh, for instance, at Canadian Tire and Sobeys, they have four self-serve checkouts. That's one person just standing there by four tills to make sure people are actually doing it right and not stealing. And it's kind of ridiculous because that, that's four jobs that just got taken away for one person. This is my problem with this automated shit. It's mainly the jobs. There's tons and tons and tons of unemployed people out there who cannot find work. And what's our answer to that? Well, let's make more automated services. And of course, people are like, Oh, well, you know, we need automated services. People don't want to do these shit jobs, doing a cashier job at Sobeys or, or Canadian Tire, and they don't want to be mail carriers, so we're going to get robots to do that. And people don't want to sit there and run CNCs, we're going to get robots to do that. And cab drivers hate their jobs, you know. They freak out all the time, and there's less risk for the cab driver to get stabbed or mugged while he's, while he's uh, running his routes. Well, you know what? That may be true, but that also is false. A job is a job, you know? If somebody's starving on the street, they're gonna go and friggin' run a, a cashier job at Sobeys, or drive a taxi, or friggin' take up CNC operating, or whatever. You know? There's a place in the world for automation, but when it starts killing jobs, not so much. 
Now, I don't know if you guys are, are like, you know, if you're following me on that, if you guys even care, but uh, it's been a big concern for me, mainly because I work in the information technology area, and I find it's really upsetting hearing about all these different robots that are taking over people's jobs, because you know it's coming when they're one day they're going to build a friggin' robot that's going to be, like, human, and it's going to be able to, like, come into your house and do all your chores, like, you know, friggin' robot, go mow the lawn, and then you got friggin' Ed 209 out in the backyard pushing a friggin' mower around and shit, you know, robot, go walk the dog, you know, friggin' leashes up the dog, or hell, they'll probably replace a dog with a robotic dog, instead of taking it out for a piss, you gotta take it out for a damn oil change or something stupid, you know, like, I don't know, this, this is getting a little, little too crazy, and, uh, I think they need to back off on the automated services, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below because uh, I personally think it's getting out of hand big times. But anyway, people, we need to bail out. we got to head over to uh, Jules' house. She made cinnamon buns, and uh, they look pretty epic so far. So we're going to head over there and see what the frig's going on. And uh, skiddly deesh. Yeah. Oh, frig yeah. Another Trans Am on the road. Nice. Nice. Well, it's like 7 o'clock-ish or something like that. And uh, we had burgers for supper. Yummy. They're good. They're good. <laughs> Didn't do too much filming here. Just been hanging out. Nope. You know. Adam was getting trolled by Kelly. And her dad. And my dad. Double time. Yeah. Sorry. Yeppers. My bad. It's the way she goes. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Well, I could. I could have just laughed. Please don't. <laughs> That's, I don't want my people, my friends, and family keep scaring me away. Da. <laughs> I can't even speak. So probably gonna head her home there in the near future, and uh, let Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Whoopy out, and I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I gotta fix that computer. I know what I'm doing tonight. Yep. Fixing the computer. Yep. Awesome. Mm. So so apparently one of Jules' kids can speak three languages: English, French, and and what? What's the third language you know how to speak? Australian. Uh, Australian. How does that go? Hello, Mike. Oh. What you doing, Mike? Oh. It's a new language. I know that so, too. So, so you guys let me know how's our Australian doing. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, buddy. Stop. Your, your, you know. This one's ticklish. He's mean. No. <laughs> Don't. He's, no. <laughs> Protected fight camera. No. <laughs> you're on. Sounds like you're pooping. I'm not pooping. No! <laughs> Stop! Why are, you, why are you filming me tickling you? Because <laughs> I thought it would make you stop. <laughs> Quick, you're on camera. You can't be silly. Yes, I can. That's what I always do. I fart and burp on camera. <laughs> no! Stop! Oh, this is all Jules has left from cinnamon buns. You made what? Two batches? 24? Two batches. Those, that was two trays full. About 24 of them? 30 of them? Uh, four rows of four. So four 16, 16. So 30, 32 cinnamon buns. And all she has left is so six. six. <laughs> well, after I get in there, there might be one or two left. And I've only had one, but that's more than enough for me because I don't handle sweets that well. No, I don't. Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna head her home. She's going to bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's done. I'm done. So I'm gonna head her home mm -hmm. and we might tackle the white depending on how I feel when I get there. Probably not. We'll see. Maybe. I'm gonna try and run it without the stator. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try and take the carb off and clean it and go from there. Geez, smile for one's God. Will it hurt you? Go frig yourself. <laughs> the least I gotta smile. I'm I can't dead. even deal with this one right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and friggin take a shit. Wow. Yeah. Should I close all my windows now? Yes. Okay. Because the smell will get here. Why did I just have a shiver? Anyway, Somebody I gotta go. Over your grave. I don't have one of those yet. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Alright guys, we're home. Oreo's been home for a little bit longer than I hoped. But, uh, hopefully he's okay. So yeah, I didn't really film much over there. Um, we had guests and, well, she had guests. So I just kind of kind of hung out for the day, you know, and they're doing like gymnastics and things and yeah, just kind of a lazy Sunday, if you will, because those are awesomer than frig. 
But uh, yeah, not too sure. I'm thinking about uh, quite possibly freaking heading out to the garage and, and dicking around. Holy frig sakes, is she ever cold up here? Yeah, just a lot. We're gonna have to uh, deactivate this fan. Frig sakes. There's a freaking ice box up here right now. Let me tell you a little something about that. Well, I was gonna head out to the garage and see if I can get that freaking white to fire without the um, the freaking uh, stator hooked up. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't require a stator. How are these going? Huh. All my vidges are uploaded to Skaven Games. Well, ain't that something special? I better uh, thumbnail these and then uh, we'll see what we get into. Well, guys, I've just been home for a bit, just on YouTube, just checking out people's videos and stuff. Finally watched Rex's tractor romp. I've never seen it yet because I haven't been on YouTube's at all in a little bit. So, um, just watched Rex's tractor romp, and holy shit, I didn't realize he held on to that friggin' tree when he passed me there. And, uh, I noticed comments of people like, oh, I do a tractor, uh, tractor jousting and stuff. And, uh, don't think we haven't thought of that. Don't think we haven't thought of that, because we super thought of that. That'd be hilarious, but we also have other tractor videos that we want to do, but uh, winter's on its way, right? So we probably won't be able to do them, but we definitely thought of some other ideas for those tractors that could be kind of funny. Well, we'll have to wait and see. If you don't do them this year, we'll do them next year. Not a big deal. You know, I think we both plan on being YouTubers next year and the year after that. So, well, as long as YouTube lets us, you know, you know how, you know how it is, you know. They're free now, but later on they could end up charging you. Who knows with those guys. But, I don't know what the hell Oreo's barking at and growling at. There's spray all out there. Somebody move my shovel. But, um, yeah, I'm right now I'm just making some hot water. I'm going to have a, a soup. And then uh, maybe we'll head out to the garage. Ah, uh, well, it's 11.30. And I thought about it, and I decided I'm not going to work on the white tonight. Main reason being is I forgot the battery's dead. Which means, even if I do clean the carb... I can't test it till the battery has a charge in it. I probably shouldn't be firing that thing up this late at night because my neighbor over there, whatever, does have really young kids and they do have to be up bright and early in the morning for school. So probably not going to dick around with that thing tonight, fire it up, piss off the neighbors and stuff. I'll save that more for during the day or next weekend or whatever. One thing for certain, this beard is out of control. Probably uh, going to have to trim her down. Here's the old uh, friggin' uh, son of a bitchers here. And trim her down a notch. Get her a little bit more manageable, you know. Oh, uh, what else is going on? What about sums it up, eh? Not too much else going on. Trying to decide if I should buy the, uh, well, Grand Theft Auto V comes out in like nine more days, not even eight more days now, on September 17th, right? Well, all my friends are buying it for PlayStation. I don't have the PlayStation 3 anymore. See when the X left, she took it with her, so right now all I have is the Xbox, the Wii, and my, my computers. Rumor has it, they're not releasing Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC. So because they're not releasing it for PC, that's really upsetting. I may have just pooped. So I have two options. Get it for the 360, which I can currently use online and play against my friends, if only my friends had Xbox 360's, they have PlayStation 3's. So, uh, that's out. <coughs> Other option is, is Sony released a PS3 bundle. So you get the 500 gig PS3, the Grand Theft Auto 5, ready to rock, plus I do have some PlayStation 3 titles kicking around here still. A couple of mine that I was not giving up. Not many, I don't think. I think I only have the two. Yeah, I only have the two. Uh, PS3 Naughty Bear and NHL 08. I let her take the rest because I wasn't planning on getting a new uh, new PlayStation 3, but now I'm kind of considering doing the opposite. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, is she ever cold down here, people. No wonder why Oreo hangs around down here. It's freaking nice and cold for him. He likes that kind. <sighs> I gotta quit doing that. So I've been thinking, I do that from time to time, about saying screw it and uh, taking these things, power bars I got for Christmas last year. I don't need them in here now because, uh, well, you know, I have full reign of the house. I don't have to move all my computers into one room like I was planning on doing when, when the X was here. So now that I'm satisfied with the way I got everything set up upstairs, 
I'm thinking about taking these some bitches out to the garage and putting them on the wall. They should have some sort of mounting hardware probably in this box then maybe. But anyway, I'm going to mount these to the wall and then I would have some uh, good power bars out there to run tools and stuff off of when needed. So that'll probably be pretty good, I think. So I'll put one on one wall, one on the other wall, and then plug them in. And then I'll have access to like plugs for using like my drill press or my grinder or my welder or you know other things like that. So I've been thinking about doing that and I'm probably going to go ahead and give her because honestly like I said I don't need the extra power in the red room now. I'm just going to leave the upstairs the way it is and uh, if something happens where I want to... Oh god, that, that was a near, a near accident. But if something happens where I ever want to use more power well, I'll always, I can always talk to Dad and see about maybe uh, friggin' installing uh, something with more power, like another outlet upstairs or something. But as for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and say frag it. Alrighty guys, I think I'm going to shut her down. It's 12.30 at night. I'm not doing much. I gotta, I'm gotta. i probably going to go to bed. I don't got much sleep in me last night. I went to bed at like 6 o'clock in the morning and then got woken up at like friggin' 10 o'clock by the dog and then couldn't fall back to sleep so I got up at noon and all that shit. So I'm running on very limited sleep. I want to go to bed. Tomorrow's back to work. Vacations are over. <laughs> So, on that note, um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button, lets me know you liked it, and that's freaking awesome, and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below, and hopefully I'll get back to my regularly scheduled replying to comments, maybe, now that I'm done vacation, son of a bitch. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.